So tonight we're going to my favorite restaurant, Jones. Let's check it out. It's in the 11th district. Should be exciting. It's, it's always different every time and to make it interesting, but always the sh So this is the first dish. It's a raw mackerel, which has been marinated. Some olive oil and a radish puree um, with squid ink. Hence the blackness of the squid ink. Uh, sorry, the radish uh, puree. This is the wine we took, a white wine, and it's pretty funny because the French um, speech bubble means the fear of missing out, or otherwise FOMO, and um, the guy's hugging a wine bottle. This was probably the second best dish of the night, it's a beautiful steak tartare, quite classic on a piece of toast, so you can see there the raw pieces of steak, the capers, Beautiful garnishing, amazing. This one, sorry I dug in before I took the photo, it's grilled peppers with anchovies and capers. So the sweetness of the grilled peppers, the saltiness of the capers and the, sorry, the saltiness of the anchovies and the soundness of the capers really came well together. This was a courgette, um, otherwise known as zucchini. Um, with uh, egg yolk sauce and some grains and uh, I forgot what that um, little slices of things are. The egg yolk sauce is very good by the way. This is a sort of sausage but it's a blood sausage mixed with a sausage internally um, and it went very well with the prunes. Once again the balance between the sweetness and the saltiness perfect together. This was the best dish of the night. And I should have taken a photo without all this <laughs> so-called grass on top, perhaps. But this was the best dish. It was a raw tuna um, with a melon sauce, um, fresh uh, almonds, and some, uh, some greens on top. This was so good, we ordered it twice. Um, the second time after we had finished all the savory dishes and before the desserts. This was the dish that I was mentioning that um, wasn't that great. Um, I mean, it was fine, but it wasn't exceptional like all the other dishes were. This was a um, fried fish, um, as you can see, with a little tomato-based sauce. And what was um, less pleasant about this dish was because, well, this restaurant is a restaurant where we sort of split the dishes up uh, it's like a tapas so we had five people and so we could try basically the entire menu and they sort of rotate their menu or well, they tweak their menu a bit daily but um, you can expect to see a totally new menu by two weeks um, and so splitting the fish between five people we just cut it like that and there were a lot of bones of course these being small fish um, and there wasn't an, an exceptional flavor like the other sauces or the other um, sort of combinations, you could say. This is one of the sides. It's a potato with homemade butter. The potatoes were really nicely uh, compressed and so they came together. They weren't really... Um, they were quite compact on the inside. They weren't really uh, sort of grainy, etc. It's really nice. Um, this was a salad in a buttermilk sauce. Um, very fine, very decent. And this was uh, the um, larger portion of main other than the fish. This was a um, lamb shoulder with nicely grilled uh, San Marzano um, tomatoes and some mint. And this was a special dish that they added on um, after they told us. This is a special dish that they uh, told us about after. So this is a um, tuna belly, a fatty tuna belly, um, otherwise known as otoro in Japanese, um, with the same grilled peppers and caper 
combination as seen before. And after this dish, we ordered the um, magnificent raw tuna with melon sauce dish from before. This was the first dessert we took. It is a um, olive oil and hazelnut ice cream with a bit of olive oil in the middle and some hazelnuts. Very delicious, very delicious. And some hazelnut shavings on top. Oh my goodness. The texture is quite um, creamy. It's not really... But it's light at the same time. Um, can't really explain it. It's not really um, solid as ice cream in a really cold freezer. It's a more liquid consistency, but yeah, I don't know. It goes down really well. And this was the final dish. It is a um, ricotta cake with a nice apricot uh, sauce, caramelized apricot. Near, sort of like a jam, yes, like an apricot jam on the side with a nicely coated apricot. Amazing. So what I've decided is that I will probably go back there around once every half a month to a month now that things are open. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys when I go again. Look forward to um, being able to share this food experience with you more and more. Um, so yeah, catch me, in my, catch me in my next video and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment please. Thank you.